there's a direct relationship between having the businesses and being in prison. Go find an Asian, see how many Asians you can find in American prisoners. You ain't gonna be in there. But 51% of your prisoners will be black because you don't, blacks don't have any businesses and industries. There's a direct link. Blacks won't practice group economics. Black won't practice group politics. If you don't practice, you're setting yourself up. I told that five-story building, you're setting yourself to get wiped out. Understand the nature of race, which is economics. If you, if you build the first floor, it's economic. Build your businesses and your industries. Control buildings and industry, and put that pools in your money and hold that money and, as a, and practice group economics <clears throat> with it. Arab and Asian money bounces 12 to 13 times what it leaves. Jewish money bounces 18 times. Black folk got to learn how to practice group economics. Black Americans spend every penny they get outside their own community. Then you take the money and the wealth that you get from that first floor and go to the second floor. The second floor is politics. You then take that money on the first floor and you control your politics. Black folk must quit allowing people to tell them to go out and vote. Vote for what? Nobody's going to do anything for black folk in politics. Politics is controlled by money. Major corporations who got the money. That's what controls politics. If you have no money, you have no say-so, you have no benefits coming. So you take your money and you control and you take your money from the first floor, you buy every politician on the second floor. And any politician you can't buy, you rent or lease them to get what you need. Then once you get the second floor under control with the politician, with your money, then you go to the third floor. The third floor then is the police department and the court system. You take your money from the first floor and your politics on the second floor and you control the court system and the police departments. Then the fourth floor, you is your, the fourth floor then is media. You then take the money that you generate off the first floor from business and industries <clears throat> and you go after radio stations, TV stations, newspapers, and cable systems so that you can now inform and communicate with your own people. Right now, <clears throat> black folk only control less than 35 thousandths of 1% of the media in the United States. Out of 12,000 radio stations, black folk own about something like about 75, 80. That's all. You own no cable systems. You don't have a daily newspaper. You have nothing of importance. You don't, you got about one black TV station. And you, so you can't communicate with your people. You can't inform your people. You can't do anything. You can have Rush Limbaugh and all the rest of the guys talking about racism all day long and bad mouthing you and O'Reilly's. They can talk, call black folk all kind of names all day long. What are you going to do? You can't respond. You can't even communicate with your own people because you, you don't have an economic base. 51% of all the prisoners in the United States are black people. You know, you know you only make up 12% of the population. That's no accident. It's because you don't control the economics and the politics. And they're going to go after the weakest people they can get their hands on to incarcerate them. That's the black folk. And what are you going to do in response to them when they, when they, when they, when they over incarcerate you? You're going to go out and have a march, a demonstration. We're going to march. March for what? Who cares? Marching never changed anything.